Hi there, my name is Jessica Bledsoe and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Paver. Thank you so much for taking the time to install the Paver add-on. I just wanted to really quickly walk you through getting started and how to use Paver. So the first thing you'll want to do is navigate to your Google Calendar in the web browser and click on the plus, the plus sign that is in the side panel. Now, if you don't see the side panel, you should see an arrow down here in the bottom that may look a little something like this. You can just click on that to expand it then click that get add on button. So this will take you to the G Suite marketplace and you'll just scroll down until you see paver or you can type it in the search bar here. And once you see it, just click on it. You'll see that I already have it installed, but you can install it here from this page. And once you do that, then you should see the paver icon show up on your sidebar. So once you have it installed, you'll just click on the icon and you will be prompted to log into your Google account for the when you log in for the first time. It'll take you through the authorization screen. So just make sure you're logged into the Google account that you want to use the add on with. And once you've logged in for the very first time, you should be redirected to this screen where we can get started. So we're going to get started by clicking on login. And then this is where you'll um, enter your invite code. Paver is currently only available to um, invite users, but don't worry, you can request your invite at getpaver.com and you'll be emailed a unique code that you can use to get started. So once you enter your code, then we'll continue with the setup and it will just walk you through how to get started. So the first thing you wanna do is connect your calendar. So if you click on this, it's a drop down that will show you all of the calendars you have access to. I'm in our training account, so I only have access to one calendar, but if you have access to multiple calendars, they'll be selected right here and you can start setting up your first one by selecting it from the list. Once we've installed, our, installed it on the calendar we selected, then we get to start adding our label. So you'll click on add label and you can start adding the labels that you would like to use on your calendar. So I'm just going to use an example of client work here and save the label. Go ahead and add as many labels as you like. You can also remove labels if you need to and then click continue. So what we want to do to get started on adding labels to the calendar entries is um, open an existing calendar event. So you can see here I don't have anything on my calendar currently. So I'm just going to add a quick event and save it. And then once that entry is on my calendar, now if I click on it, you'll see that I have the ability to add my labels. So whatever labels you just created will show here. You can check as many or as you want or just one and click on save. That has now applied that label to your event. And if you are ready to export all of your calendar entries, you just click on export and enter the date that you would like to export from your calendar. Click that export button. It's gonna send it to a Google Sheet. And if you just click here on go to sheet, it'll take you to the sheet where you can see all of the calendar events that you had on your calendar for the date you selected. And that's all it takes to get started. So thank you again. As always, let me know if you have any questions. You can always reach us at support at getpaver.com. And we look forward to hearing your feedback.